get that one behind the elbow joint. Yeah. Touch your chest. It has to be behind the elbow joint if it doesn't work. And then either pull down or break it against your breast plate. So it has to go against the joint. So we're there. Yeah, or if it's that way, you would snap down. Don't. 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 So there we've got some excellent examples of um, dagger techniques that are primarily designed actually to be used in armour, but they could be used out of armour. But you've got to remember when we're looking at medieval dagger fighting, armour is a very important factor. Obviously in the design of things like rondel daggers, which are designed to overcome armour to some extent, or at least bypass it, but of course in the techniques as well, because armour and thick clothing and armour of different levels, you know, things like gambesons or brigandines or whatever, play a very large factor in medieval warfare. Um, so in terms of what is dangerous to you, but also in terms of how you apply certain techniques, certain movements that you can or can't do, and the ways that you even use the armour to exploit the uh, sort of lock or the break that you're exerting on the other person. Anyway, let's have another brief look at what they're doing at the moment, and then I will leave you. So you might not want to do it, we'll do it really slowly. If you only want to get to a certain point, please do. But again, grab behind the knife. Left hand on the elbow to help hoist it up. Snap the arm. And Gladiatory has this lovely thing, it says you'll either break the arm or they'll fall over. And it says it for pretty much every arm break. So have a go at that, but really, really careful. 